Yo, it was really good, my people. Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Let's get into this, right? So, Biggie Smalls, legendary rapper from Brooklyn. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, to do it. Has a mural in Brooklyn, and it was recently vandalized. They threw black paint all over it and fucked it up. Now, that mural had to have been there for at least 15, 20 years, I would assume, right? And um, it was vandalized. And it just goes to show the lack of respect. The lack of, you know, the lack of respect that this generation has. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm not quick to point fingers, especially at anybody, young people, old people. I'm pretty sure this was a young person that did this. I'm just, I, I'm willing to bet money that it was a person under 25 you know probably even younger than that i'm just being generous i would say somebody under the age of 23 22 but it just is what it is nothing is sacred no more nothing is uh nothing is um is safe you know the streets are the most chaotic and the most hectic i hectic i've ever uh, seen them and it, it's crazy um I mean, just looking at what happened the other day where, like I said before, shout out to Mel Cross, my son, and everybody that showed up to Morris Avenue, 169 from Morris Avenue, um, where people, older people were getting harassed and literally beat up by teenagers. It's a lot of things that we did back in the day. We were no angels by any means. Um, but when it came to elderly people, like... Elderly people on our block and anywhere. I would never disrespect an elderly person no matter where I'm at. So I'm, you know, I'm speaking for me and pretty much 98% of the dudes that I'm with, that I, that I know. They, we don't play those games. But, you know, as far as on our block, like, we help people upstairs with groceries, women. We help women carry their carriage upstairs because we, I lived in buildings that didn't have any elevator. So, you know. If a lady, we know she's got a carriage and she's got to carry it up two or three flights of steps, we would help her. You know, old people would never have to worry about anything. We'd go and unlock the gate for them. And you know what I'm saying? Like, we were very, very courteous to people that lived on the block, people that lived in the building, especially the elders. This generation just don't give a shit about that. I mean, they have no chill button. Everybody is a target and everybody can get it. Like, and this is the way that we bred them, you know, because let's face it, we, they come up after us, after my generation, I should say. I have a 19 year old son. So, yeah, these are the people right now that are, that's the age range of the kids that we're talking about that are fucking, you know, running around acting crazy. Now, my son isn't one of those kids. I'm glad and I'm proud to say, but. In the same token as his age range, his friends, his group of people, his generation. That's the ones that are really out there causing hell and raising hell in the Bronx right now. Um, and it's sad. And, you know, going back to the whole Biggie Smalls thing is like, you know, Biggie is an icon. Biggie is somebody that represented New York and the whole East Coast when this whole East Coast, West Coast thing was going on. Now, whatever we can go into, whether it was necessary, ignorant or whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. This man was a hip hop icon. This man is a legend, especially in Brooklyn. Like, I can't believe it happened in Brooklyn. Like, if there was a mural of him in Manhattan or something and something happened, I would still be shocked. But, you know, for it to happen in Brooklyn is like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's that's surprising. That's like big pun shit getting vandalized. And at this point, I wouldn't even surprise it wouldn't surprise me. Him his his shit getting vandalized in the Bronx. Um it's crazy, it's sad, it's just, like I said, it goes to show where the mentality of the world is, and like I said, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I would be shocked if it was somebody in their 40s that did this shit, like, this had to be somebody that was young and obviously dumb and, and, and just very disrespectful, this man is dead, he was put on that wall to be immortalized because he represented Brooklyn, he represented New York City, and you know and he was unfortunately cut his life was cut short because of you know stupidity and jealousy and whatever else happened it's a shame it's sad um 
I'm just pretty sure they're going to redo the mural. But, um, yeah, man. I, whoever did that need their ass whipped. Straight like that. Like, for real. They need to get the shit slapped out of them. For real, for real. Like, slap taste out of their mouth. Because that's just unacceptable, man. We're not doing that to Biggie. We're not doing that to Punk. We're not doing that. Like, like nah, we're not doing that. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, if anybody knows who this kid or these kids are that did this shit, slap the shit out of them. For real. Slap the motherfucking shit out of them for that. Rest in peace, Biggie, man. You know, um, shout out to everybody that supports me. Much love to everybody. And uh, enjoy this weather. It's a couple weeks left of summer. Enjoy this weather. Enjoy your family, enjoy your freedom, enjoy your health. And until the next time, my people.